hi welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is avion graphics yes on this particular tutorial as we already know we are designing a full book uh, a funeral full book in photoshop so today on this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to do to design the page and for this the pages i have here is almost about 30 or something so we can't use this limited time to do that so what we need to do over here today is that we just want to design one and then i'll show you how to do other arrangement in the next tutorial yes so for this particular tutorial i have get this particular the first page details which is the order of service for the late uh for the late person or for the late uh, this thing that you are designing for so on this particular note let's just go ahead uh, to our photoshop over here and that is what i have just launched and this is 2019 version yes so for this particular system what we need to do over here is that we just need to create our document which is a5 and because a5 that we are using so the pages too should be a5 in last game so after here we come to print where we can find the a5 size over there then we come and click a5 here over there and then we make it last game just like this and on this particular this one we call it page we call it page one and you can design all the pages in that page one without any problem yes and then we can create that particular document just like this and over here what we need to do of the first thing is that you have to do your guidelines then you move you move on and then we come to view then we come to new guide for this particular design we are still going to use the percentage size one percent should be this place and then the next one should be a uh, one minus hundred we get 99 percent over here and then we have it just like this and then the other one too we have to come then we make it horizontally we want the line to be on horizontal we have one percent uh, over there just like that and the next thing again we have to do which is the last one we have the 99 percent too just like this so we can have it just like this and the next thing again we have to do is to create our background so i have just uh, i have just uh, downloaded a background that i normally use on this particular distance so i'll head over to file then i'll come to place the link to just import it into my photoshop and then this is the that particular distance so i click ok to place it so when it, it plays finish then i do anything to it so that is how that particular background is going to be but however i just want to make some small changes to it or some this kind of a small thing to on it so the next thing again i have to do is to come and click on the adjustment layer over here that will come and click gradient color and when i click that particular gradient color that is how i'm going to have it on that particular distance but i'm just going to click on that particular gradient distance over there then over here i'm going to change the color to red yes and then when i have it red the top here is the opacity where you can reduce the opacity so i'm going to reduce the opacity to somewhere 50 let's say 50 let me use 52 yes and that will be okay for me so over this particular place i'm going to use a color which is color white over there yes just like that and then i'll make sure that the location i'll move it a little bit to somewhere 41 and that will be okay for me and then over this particular distance to i'll move that one to a little bit yes so that it won't cover all the distance it will just be at the bottom of that particular distance over there then i can click ok yes and then i'll click ok again then i can have something like this over there so this particular image which is the background i'm going to reduce the opacity to somewhere 24 yes so that the appearance will not just appear very well but when the printing is done you can see it clearly that it is very very good over there then i can have it just like that and then on that note i'm going to group all in this particular this thing then i'll call it bg which is background then i can have it just like that and then i'm just going to locked it up and the next thing again i have to do again over here is that to give the paging so the paging starts with your page one should write to start with here and page two to start with here so page one should start here page two over here page three page four page five up to 
that page that you are going to stop at you get that so the first thing again i have to do is that i'm going to pick a rectangular market tool over here then i'll just zoom out and give something like that over there you get that yes on on this particular distance i'm going to change it to what to red so after changing it to red just like this what i need to do over here is that i'm going to type in one which is going to be the first one over there so i can let me just increase the size so that you see it very well so page one is just going to be somewhere here and then that particular is now i can change it to i can change the font to different fonts so on normally basis when i'm do, doing book i normally use photoshop uh, photoshop fonts photoshop has a whole lot of fonts that i normally use so this particular font that i'm going to use for that particular uh, uh, font uh, for that particular distance so I'm just searching for that particular uh, distance, but I can see that my laptop is somehow freezing or somehow the graphics is not that cool. So on this particular distance, I'm going to use this particular font. Uh, let me see. Let me use this particular font over there. I want a font that has italic and those things, but no problem. Let's see how we are going to work with this particular distance. So. We are going to use this particular font over there just like that and then i'm going to change the color to what to red so after the font has been updated just like this how it is still updating i'm going to use the color of what red or of white i want the color to be what to be white yes so when i have it just like this or uh, over there i'm going to change the color to white or i can just click over here then i'll have the white over there just like that so that i can have it just like this so let me zoom it out and then i can make some changes to it so i'll have it somewhere here and then uh make it just like that okay yes so the next thing again i have to do on this particular distance is that uh I can fill my laptop with some of these and so you just have to bear in mind this thing whilst I'm doing this thing. So I'm just going to pick it over there then I'll place it somewhere here where I want that one to be. So I'm going to pick another rectangular market tool over there then I'm going just going to draw a line just like this to get that in this. And this particular line too should be red just like that and then that one should be somewhere here just like this okay yes so the next thing again i have to do is to put in the person the date when he he was or he or she was born and the day that he's uh, gone so i'm just going to have some 99 uh, 1997 okay 1997 to 2022 or oh, i think 2022 okay then that one too i'll make it red just like that and then i'll make sure that i place it somewhere here just like that and then i'm going to reduce the size a little bit to somewhere 24 and then i'll make it just like that and then let me keep reducing the size a little bit so that it won't be too big over there so i can have it just like that and make sure that the the the, the guideline the system shouldn't be out of that so I'm just going to reduce my line a little bit just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to zoom it out and then I'll have some line over here just like that okay and that particular line too should be what should be uh, uh, red yes so that is just the page uh, border that I'm working with you get that so I can have something like this over there without any much problem yes so on this note i don't want my tutorial to be too long so they they suppose i supposed to add some so many things on that but just uh, because of the my laptop's freezing i'm just going to make it a little bit small so and then the next thing again i have to do is to come up and have some kind of this thing over here and that one to i'm just going to make it uh, red and then i'll duplicate it over there then i'll move that one to somewhere here and then I'll reduce the size a little bit then I'll reduce the height a little bit yes and then I can have it just like that and then the next thing again I have to do over this particular is now I'm going to duplicate that one and then I'll make the stroke white and then I'll make some 
5 over there or oh, 5 is too big okay I think 5 is okay and then I'm going to reduce the the, 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 the that particular shape which is the stroke a little bit inside the distance just like that then I can have it just like this over there so that is going to be my page my page border so over that particular distance I'm just going to uh, hold shift and then select all and then I'll group all just like that and then I'll call it a uh, page border page P B that's page border then I can have it just like that over there you get that yes and the next thing again I have to do is to go to my uh, what is the name my information over there then I can start the design so this one, I'm going to copy this particular order of service over there then I'm just going to paste it over here and then I'll paste it just like that and I'll make sure that I increase the size a little bit so that it should be a little bit bigger over there sorry a little bit bigger over there okay that yes so I'll have the order of seven just like this over there and then I'm going to change the color to gradient color so I'm going to click FX then I'll move my distance to gradient overlay and then when I choose the gradient overlay normally I'm just going to make it a uh, red and black so this thing I'm going to use red and then over here I'm going to use black and then I can have it just like this over there without any problem and then over this particular distance I'm going to make that particular font italic uh, over there so I want it to look italic form so on this particular note I have to change that particular font to different font so that I can get a font that has that italic over there with Adobe this thing yes so over here uh, this particular Adobe this thing uh, the Vanagari that one too has a italic this thing over there like that. and the next thing you're gonna have to do is to come and pick the person name uh, just like that and then I'll come and paste that one to somewhere here yes I'm going to paste it somewhere here and then I'll let it be somewhere here and then I'm going to change the color to black uh, without any much problem over there making it black and then I'll reduce the size a little bit without a uh, I'll have it just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick the date that the ceremony or the bearer service is going to happen then I'll just put that one to somewhere here without any much problem and that one should be somewhere here I'll make some changes to it don't worry I just want to copy those things over there so the next thing again I have to do over this particular this one I'll make it bold and then I'll make it I'll make all capitals just like that and then it should be somewhere like this over there and then over this particular this one too I'm just going to make it uh, let me use a regular over there and then I'll reduce the size a little bit to 16 so that it will be too big over there yes so that this kind of uh, heading will be nice for me so the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick the part one there is the first services that is going to happen uh, in that particular day so I'll have something like this over there then I'll paste it's just like that over there and then I'll come and copy all this information over there just like that and then when I come I have to click and hold shift then I can paste it without any mass problem so I'll paste it just like this over there and then I'll just make some changes to it so over that particular distance I'm going to reduce the size a little bit so that everything on that particular distance will come out and then when the printing is done you see that everything is going to show up without any so I'll have it just like that and then I'll uh, make sure that I increase it a little bit to the top and then I'll make sure that this one to go top a little bit and then I'll just make some a little bit changes to it so that it will come out very well in that particular book so I can have it just like this without uh, many problems on that particular thing so let me see I can wide it up a little bit so that it, it will come out very very well let me use somewhere 11 yes reception or reception so 
I can move it a little bit over there and the alignment should be aligned on that particular distance just like that you get that yes and the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick the part 2 over there and then I'll just come and paste it somewhere here without much problem I'm going to paste it somewhere here just like that and then the next thing again I have to do over there is to come and copy this particular distance over there too and then I can just come and hold shift uh, sorry I can just come and click and hold then I'll paste that particular uh, 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 distance to over there just like that and then I can have it like this so the next thing again I have to do I want to make some alignment on that so I'm going to click on top and then I'll come to view then I, I'll view the ruler then I'll pick my ruler to somewhere here so this particular this one too should be in line with this one you get that and then this one size is what is 16 then I'm going to use 16 bolt and that will be okay for me and then over this particular distance I'm going to use the same 16 over there and that one should be bold over there and then I can have it just like that okay and then I'll have it uh, somewhere here and then this one should also be aligned with this one so that it will look somehow realistic so I'm going to, redu uh, to increase the size a little bit so that uh, it can come out very 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 well you get that so let me have it just like that and then I can increase the, the this thing over there just like that yes so as you can see we are just getting to the end of that particular video so I'll have it just like that and then I'll make any adjustment a little bit on that particular distance just like that and then I can now save my work but keep on anytime you are working with anything try and save the work before you move on to this uh, anything that you are cause anything can happen on this particular distance without any reason so yes looking into this we are just get to the end of that particular tutorial on the page so the next page that we are going to learn is that or oh, I'm not going to uh, show everything is that uh, not everything that all the pages that I can show on the tutorial course is going to take much of our time and I can see that a whole lot of people don't like um, video that is long yes. so that is our first page so on the next page you see where this one is is that one is going to turn around okay it's going to turn like this yes so on our next page this is going to be two and this two should be here you get that three should be here four should be here five should be here six should be here in that order to the end of that page that you are working with and that is how the book paging has been done so there is the paging uh, page for the page one just like this okay yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and have a nice day uh on our next tutorial i'm going to show you how to do the paging so that when you are doing the front and back nothing will happen it will just print best for you thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye